Hello, I'm Dr. Rafi Romano. I'm very pleased and honored to conclude this series of movies uh, I've prepared for you on lingual orthodontics in general and joy brackets by Adenta specifically. Today I want to uh, discuss the retention. Retention is probably uh, one of uh, the most important, if not the most important part of the orthodontic treatment which usually takes between one to two or three years, uh, sometimes even less, where we change the patient uh, occlusion and the teeth position and expect that the, the new position will remain for the rest of his, of his life. That usually or always will not happen. So let's discuss what, are the, what is the philosophy behind retention and what are the retention tools we are using and that I recommend you to use in your own clinic. Our learning objective is, first of all, do we need a lifetime retention? Second, do we need a fixed retainer, which, and I will learn you what are the bonding techniques to do this fixed retainer. And we will talk a little bit about the removal retainer, pros and cons. Now, if you look at the literatures, uh, what is retention? What is the definition of retention? Well, retention by Moyers is holding of the teeth after orthodontic treatment uh, in the treated position where we move them and plan them to be for a period of time that is necessary for the maintenance of the result. Now, the question is whether the result is not related to any other factors like bone, that get, uh, uh, we, we lose during age to uh, myofunctional um, uh, uh, forces from the tongue and muscles. Uh, Rydell said that the holding of teeth should be in the ideal aesthetic and functional position. Uh, that was probably the first time that people spoke about retention uh, for aesthetic which is of course um, uh, a very important if not crucial factor today with the need for retention. Now, the proposed basis for retention today is first of all to allow the periodontal and gingival reorganization after the change we did in the orthodontic treatment. This periodontal and gingival uh, reorganization usually takes, as we know, after one year, even sometimes less. Now, the second is to permit the neuromuscular adaptation to the new position. Does it always happen? Definitely not. Number three will be to maintain, maintain an unstable tooth position, uh, which we uh, put the tooth or the teeth in because of some compromise we take um, with these adult patients. How many cases we have like this? Many. Most of the minimal teeth movement uh, procedure that we do today is uh, some kind of a compromise. Now, permanent retention is probably the only way to ensure long-term stability, which will overcome the occlusive forces and neuromuscular pattern. Now, is it what we want? Is it what the patient wants? Definitely not. What are, what are our options? When you finish the treatment at the age of 20 or at the age of 30 and the patient still wants to smile with a perfect smile and perfect alignment at the age of 50 and 60, what are your options? Either to live as it is and redo the treatment every 5-10 years or do some retention, which is what I choose to do and what most orthodontists choose to do. Let's see a step-by-step -step of how we do the fixed retainer in my office. So first of all, we prepare a dry field, which is of course very important in every bonding procedure, either of brackets or uh, uh, fixed retainer. Now, once the dry field is nicely prepared, 
uh, we can uh, uh, dry the, the teeth themselves, of course, after good cleaning. Then uh, we take the retention wire and we fit it nicely to the teeth. Of course, it can be done in laboratories, but today there are many wires. Uh, there is a nice wire by Adenta uh, which uh, can be modified according to the patient arch. Now we cut the wire in the uh, desired uh, length and slowly locate the wire nicely by pushing it to the teeth on uh, three to three uh, cuspid to cuspid areas. Now we do, uh, we put the wire aside, well prepared for the uh, procedure, and we do the normal procedure of etching, rinsing, drying, as we do in every bonding procedure. Of course, since it is a fixed retainer, meaning that it is uh, meant to be uh, permanent, we need to follow up the protocol very, very carefully. If you have here some crown or porcelain uh, uh, surface that you need to bond to, we need to use a porcelain etch and a silane in order to prepare the area. If you have some old composites, uh, maybe it is better to replace them before we do the permanent uh, retainer. So we did an etching, we did rinse and drying, and uh, now the area is well prepared to do the fixed retainer. Uh, we make sure again to have a dry field and now we put primer some kind of primer I use uh, Opti uh, so, um, uh, Auto Solo by uh, Omco but all of the primers are good enough now we fit the wire to the teeth by holding the wire with a super floss under the wire and above the wire and then make sure that the wire is properly uh, and passively uh, very close to the teeth area to the tooth area in order to avoid the composite to be too bulky and uh, disturb the patient tongue. Now you can see how the wire is placed on the teeth. I'm sorry it's not so easy to take pictures during the work so sometimes the hand is uh, hiding but uh, you can see all the procedure now uh, we use the, the uh, elastic the uh, dental floss in order to um, not only to hold the wire in place but also later on to clean access of bonding material that may go in the papilla area and cause some periodontal problems in the future Okay, so now all the dental floss are holding the wire and we make sure that uh, uh, still the wire fits exactly the location on the tooth where we want this uh, retention wire to be. You have to make calculation where the occlusion is and where we want this wire uh, to be more incisively, more gingivally or exactly in the middle. The super floss goes under the contact point and above the contact point and in that way uh, it cannot, the wire cannot go up and down. Now we put a second layer of primer. You remember we put one layer under the wire. We put a second layer of primer on the wire and now we use some paste, some um, uh, semi flowable uh, paste on the wire uh, we create some composite balls on every tooth and then with the primer we make sure that this ball is round without any flashes to the uh, interproximal area or to the gingiva so it is uh, possible to view every little 
ball of composite that we create on the T. And we make sure that all the embraces are open. You can do it one by one, or you can do a few teeth together, as you see here in the movie. You can see one hand is still holding the dental floss together in order to make sure that the wire is properly secured on the teeth. Now we can light cure on every composite bowl for 15 to 20 seconds. When we, you move to the next one, usually the previous tooth gets a, a second uh, light cure um, uh, phase which uh, help you to um, make sure that everything is nicely cured. Now we make sure that we clean all the bonding material ex uh, excesses uh, around, the, uh, and around the fixed retainer. And then we use a diamond bear to smooth and polish all the bonding material. I usually use my hand uh, because the hand is a very sensitive um, uh, uh, in order to feel if there is some roughness or some poking places and, and you have to remember that the tongue is very very sensitive. Now we use uh, uh, an occlusal um, uh, paper in order to see if there is some interference, occlusal interference, very important, otherwise patient may or will break this fixed retainer. In summary, we have uh, uh, discussed that permanent retention is needed in most cases, but especially in cases where malocclusion is compromised. The occlusion that we corrected is compromised. Removal retainers. Removal retainers is something like uh, Omnivac vacuum retainers or a holy plate, something I gave always in addition to the fixed retainer. It does not replace the fixed retainer and when it does, because patient cannot hold fixed retainer or the retainer tends to fall again and again, I tell the patient that even if he sleeps with a uh, removal retainer on every night basis, which is almost impossible, still there are around 16 hours, at least a day, that the teeth can move to a new place and then after some time it's very difficult to bring them back only from 8 hours of removal uh, appliance wearing. So in my office removable is always an addition and can also replace the fixed retainer when there is breakage of the fixed retainer. Meaning that if patient feels that something broke and he goes to a simple dentist who cuts the retainer, he can still use the removal until he can come to my office and do a new fixed retainer. We need to do continuous follow-up with x-rays, with hygienists, with periodontists, because when we do a, a fixed retainer, we do not let the teeth move, and if the force uh, that tends to move them to the previous position or to a uh, uh, a different location of the teeth is too strong and we hold the teeth with this wire we may cause some other problems like root resorption or bone loss and we need to follow up the case on a long time basis even that the orthodontic treatment uh, was finished many years ago. Thank you very much I hope you enjoyed all our movies you are mostly invited to see other movies in my YouTube channel and to write me emails if you have any more questions. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.